Hey YouTube, Dave here, Urban Chicken Dude. Um, just thought to do an update on the egg incubator. Um, I mentioned in my previous video about the temperature and how I wasn't convinced really with what the incubator was telling me because of the hydrometers that I've bought and they were all showing different temperatures. So I just thought I'd show actually what's going on. So. You can see the temperature that's showing on the incubator at the moment, so that's 38.3. And uh, now I've actually got it set to go up to 38.5. Um, and I'll show you the reason for that now, really. So I've got three, three hydrometers actually in the incubator at the moment. So to show you one here, so we've got one showing 30, 32.8. And the second one, if I can show there, it is 34.1 and the last one is 35.1 <laughs> so you can see there's a bit of a change there you can also see the um humidity is also completely completely out as well that's one saying 64 one saying 58 and one saying 52. okay so Basically, it's, it's a question of which one do you believe? Now, I've actually got some advice on these. Now, because these incubators are actually manufactured in China, um, the actual environment or the temperatures over there are obviously a lot different. So these have been actually tested and collaborated in line with the climate in which, you know, they were tested in China. So which would be a lot warmer than Manchester, England, which is currently about 15 degrees outside, um, probably about 22 degrees inside kind of thing. So, but why that actually makes a difference is that the air from inside the room is actually drawn in, obviously through the vents holes and probably the holes at the side as well where you fill up the water reserve. Now why, that's, why that makes a difference is obviously if there's cooler air being drawn into the incubator and then the fans circulating that around then the temperature is probably not going to be maintained as it would do in warmer climates like china where it could be you know 28 30 degrees over there so it's getting much cooler air drawn into it from the room and with that circulating around the eggs then it's it, it's not reaching the temperature which is saying here which is 38.5 so in addition to that as well, you've got the fan that's obviously blowing cooler air onto the hydrometers, which again is affecting the readings. So um, so it's quite difficult really to actually know if the temperature is actually right or not. Um, I mean, what I've actually done, I mean, it was preset this to go up to 37.9 degrees. So I've increased that to 38.5 to try and offset any difference in the temperature that, you know, the, the, the temperature within the room might cause and that cooler air going in. Uh, it's not an exact science. I don't know if it's definitely right. I suppose the only way of knowing for sure is actually checking on the eggs and candling them and seeing that the chicks are developing. Um, now, I, I have candled them the other day and they're all developing really well. So... Um, so yeah, so I mean, it is working and it is maintain. you know, it must be maintaining, you know, a good temperature for the, for the eggs to incubate. So, so I guess really I wouldn't worry too much. I mean, I was a bit concerned when I was seeing all these different readings and how it wasn't matching. So really, I, I guess, you know, it, it, do, it does depend on the environment in which it's in, uh, which is difficult, going to be different than the country of manufacture. So we're going to get different readings. Um, and like I said, the, the cooler air that's being drawn in is going to affect the reading. So I wouldn't be concerned about it too much as long as the incubator feels quite warm to touch and the chicks that are developing in the eggs, then I suppose it's okay. Um, yeah, so that's good. So all good so far. Um, I'll do another video in the next couple of days with the candling because some of them are looking really good and developing quite well. The incubator's been running now for for about 10 days now. Um, and it's been good so far. There's not been any problems with the power. Uh, the temperature is quite consistent. It goes up and down a bit, as is expected. But, yeah, no, it's great. 
So yeah, so if you've got any temperature issues, don't worry too much. Just check on the development of the chicks in the egg and hopefully everything's okay. Okay, thanks guys.